Let's quickly recap how we go about solving trigonometric equations. So if we have a sine equation, so sine of x is equal to a, if we want to know the value for x, we would do the shift sign of a on our calculator. Because it is a general solution that we are trying to find, we need to add plus k times 360 to that solution. However, sine has got two solutions in the first quadrant, the initial calculator angle and 180 degrees minus that calculator reference angle, so we need to give the OR option. If we have an equation of cos x is equal to a, the value of x will be the shift cos of a on our calculator. Cos also has two solutions, but it's the positive and negative calculator reference angle, and because the periodicity of the cos graph is 360, we also need to add k times 360 to take into account all the repeating solutions for that equation. And finally, if we have an equation for tan x is equal to a, our x will simply be the shift tan of a plus k times 180. There is only one um, solution per period in a tan equation, so that's why we only have one option, and the periodicity of a tan graph is 180, not 360, and therefore we add k times 180. And for all of these, we have to take into account that k must be an integer. In other words, we need to add whole sections of the 360 or the 180, not fractional values. Okay, I'd like for you to pause this video and to try this question on your own. Right, we first need to start peeling back the layers of what we are doing to theta here. So if we want to make a start, the first thing we want to do is isolate the trig ratio. And we do that by dividing both sides by 3. So we'll get the cos of 2 theta minus 10 degrees is equal to a third. At this point, the variable, the theta that we're trying to find, is tied up in this bracket and we are finding the cos of that bracket. So if we want to undo that, at this stage we need to do the shift cos of a third on our calculator and that will tell us what the 2 theta minus 10 degrees was. So shift cos of 1 over 3 gives you a value on your calculator reference angle of 70.5 plus k times 360. We need to remember that for cos, we have two solutions within the first 360 period. So it's the positive calculator angle and the negative reference angle. So we'll also have negative 70.5 plus k times 360. All right, we haven't yet solved for theta though, so let's just go back to this first one. If we want to start getting theta on its own, we need to add 10 degrees to both sides. And then we need to divide everything by 2. Okay, so we need to divide all the terms by 2. So 70.5 plus 10 degrees is 80.5. And 80.5 divided by 2 gives you 40,25 degrees. Plus K times 360 divided by 2 is 180. If we have a look at the OR option, again, we need to add 10 degrees to both sides. And then we need to divide through everything by 2. So that will give us negative 30,25 degrees. And we will also have k times 180. We were asked to find values for theta between negative 180 degrees and 180 degrees. So we now need to substitute values for k in place of k in our final solutions to find uh, angle values that lie within the negative 180 to 180 interval. So if we start off with negative 1 as a k value, 40.25 minus 180 will give you negative 139,75 degrees. Negative 30,25 minus 180 will be too small, so we don't worry about that one. If we make k equal to 0, we will have a value of negative 30,25, and we will have a value of 40,25. If we make k positive 1, this becomes too big. 40.25 plus 180 is larger than 180 degrees. But negative 30.25 plus 180 does fall within the interval, and it's 149,75 degrees.